Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we will continue learn chapter 1 electrostatic. In this video, we will continue discussing 1.2 electric field. Electric field is defined as a region of the space around isolated charge where an electric force is experienced if a positive test charge placed in the region. Okay, so if we are referring to this electric field line, okay positive charge here the electric field line is actually going upward okay it assumes that it's like a pushing a, a positive test charge electric field around the charge can be represented by drawing a series of lines this line we call it as electric field lines okay so here we have few examples the first one is a single positive charge right? if let's say this is a positive charge the electric field line is upward okay it's upward away from the uh, positive charge if let's say this is a negative charge the electric field line is into the negative point charge okay it's into or uh, inward okay so if let's, let's say we have two equal point charge with all opposite sign uh, meaning that here we have positive and negative so if positive and negative charge, the electric field line will come out from positive and enter negative. Uh, come out from positive and then enter negative. Okay, come out from positive, enter negative charge. Okay, so this is the electric field line. Okay, if this is a two equal positive charge, so when equal, meaning that here we have a neutral point where here is a, a neutral uh, for both charges. Okay, and the electric field line is up from the positive charge okay up okay and they are not touching to each other okay they are out from the positive charge on it so this is the electric field line for both charges uh, with a similar charge okay next example number five is two opposite but unequal charge okay so if you refer q1 and also q2 Okay, Q1 is negative Q, Q2 is positive 2Q. Okay, if you refer here, positive 2Q meaning that it's double up. Okay, so if we calculate the electric field line, of course Q2 with a positive 2Q have the uh, double up, uh, the electric field line. Okay, so for Q1, we only have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 field line. But for Q2, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 line. Okay, so meaning that we have double up the magnetic electric field line. Okay, example 6 is two opposite charges with parallel plate. So this is the case for parallel plate. Parallel plate meaning that here we have two parallel plate. Okay, and this is not a point charge. Huh? This is a parallel plate. So parallel plate similar positive plate to the negative plate okay positive plate out into the uh, negative plate okay so this is the uh, electric field line for parallel plate uh, so this is the case for parallel plate see the directions of electric field is tangent to the electric field line at each point okay so it's always tangent to the uh, electric field okay next we go to the equations uh. Electric field strength or sometimes you call it as electric field intensity Okay, it's defined as the electric or electrostatic force per unit positive charge That acts on the point in the same direction as the force So we can write as E equals to F over Q Force per unit positive charge Okay and it's a vector quantities meaning that we need to consider the direction and also the magnitude the unit of electric field strength is newton per coulomb because here we uh, the equation is force over charge so it's newton per coulomb or sometimes we can write it as volt per meter okay volt per meter this is because our e we also can write it as v over d yeah? so this is actually for a parallel plate case okay and this one we will learn it uh, later in a 1.4 in a subtopic 1.4 okay so that's why we can write either newton per coulomb or we can write volt per meter okay so since f equals to kq q over r square so if we substitute 
okay into the equation kqq over r squared q and q we can cancel r therefore e we also can write it as kq over r squared where q is the point charge and r is the distance between the uh, the point charge and the point so take notes that the directions of electric field strength e depends on the sign of the point charge only and the directions of the electric force depends on the sign of the point charge and also the test charge so okay so for e we only consider uh, depends on the sign of the a point charge only okay but for electric force depends on the sign of the point charge and also test charge so, okay uh, so this is example where if this is a positive charge okay so this one we call it point charge okay so this is we call it point charge so point charge our e is come up from the positive eh? so your e is out from the positive point charge okay but if we are referring to the electrostatic force if that charge is positive positive and positive okay the electric electrostatic force is also acting upward okay because it is the repulsive force okay case two case two since this is a positive okay this is a positive point charge so our electric field strength is going up okay so this is going upward okay and if test charge is a negative test charge so our force is acting into the we attract into the nearer to the point charge okay example three is negative charge so negative point charge our e will acting or attract into the the point charge okay and if we are resting we referring to f and if we put a positive test charge so negative positive it will attract into the or nearer to the point charge okay okay next example four since this is a negative so our e is inward okay e is into or nearer to the uh, pointing inwards huh? and f if let's say we substitute a negative okay if let's say we place a negative test charge negative negative it will experience a repulsive force okay so therefore the force is going up or away from the point charge now because it's negative and negative right, is a repulsive force okay so meaning that our e is depends on the point charge okay if this point charge is positive e is going outward if this test charge is negative e is acting inward okay but force is opposite okay force is opposite if force depends on the point charge and also the test charge okay so for case one if let's say positive and positive it will go away okay if positive and negative it will attract into the positive point charge okay so this is the difference between the electric field and also uh, uh, our electrostatic force this is the, the end for this subtopic we will continue with the subtopic electric potential on next video thank you guys see you bye